For today's tech tip, I'm going to walk you through the different materials reports in AgTech and how to export them into Excel so that you can get them into the bidding software you use or email the report to a coworker or save the report for yourself. Um, so if you are looking at a finished materials takeoff, like this one I have open right now, you'll notice that there are five icons um, up here on your screen, and these reports all organize the information a little bit differently. So the first one is your materials report, and this is subtotaling, or totaling, I guess I should say, all of your material quantities by material type. So everything that involved base rock on your job, everything that involved paving on your job, everything that involved concrete, whether that was a building pad or a garage section or a sidewalk section, is getting totaled up in this total concrete uh, volume, cubic yardage. So you can organize your report that way, and you can see as I click on different things on the screen, on the right side, I've got a nice highlight of all of those different items. So I can look at, you know, something individually, like a building pad, the building pads, or I can look at the whole uh, concrete section. So I can summarize a report that way. I can look at it in a summary, or for any of these reports, I can drill into more detail at any point. So I can go over to a detail report and get every little, you know, sidewalk section that pops up as I go through my report. You know, as I click on this one, I can see this little section of sidewalk highlights. As I click on the next one, I can see the next section of sidewalk highlights. So at any point, you can drill into more detail. But for now, I'm just going to look at the total summary. So that is your materials report. The next divides your report by structure. So this is now instead totaling your materials by structure type. So everything that you labeled as building pads, whether it was in phase one or phase two, this project was broken into two phases. Um, we're now getting the total concrete and fine grading associated with those pads. Same goes for the paving, heavy duty, light duty, sidewalk, anything else you put in this job. The next option is giving you the structure measures, um, we call it. So this is just telling you your square footages and lengths that are coming out of those different sections as well. You can also see that these, as I kind of scroll down, we've got lengths of different utility lines that we put in, which brings us to our last two reports, which is UG, which stands for underground report. So this is going to tell me all of my different pipelines that I've put in the job. So let's just take this top line of a storm drain, eight inch PVC storm drain. And you can see I've labeled these different, you know, storm drains, sanitary sewers, inlets, manholes, all the stuff associated with these pipelines. This first report is giving me my average depth brackets. So it's telling me the total lengths of those lines and then the depth brackets that each fall into. So if I'm looking at this eight inch PVC, we've got the majority of it is between zero and four feet deep but we have almost equal split between four and six and six and eight feet deep. And then we get into some deeper sections, eight to 10, 10 to 12. Again, I could toggle into the detailed report. And instead of looking at the whole eight inch PVC, I could click on an individual segment. It's gonna bring up where that segment falls on my job. And it's gonna give me a nice profile view um, of that pipeline run. And then, of course, detail out how that the depth bracket for that specific segment. So this one that we're looking at mostly is either six to eight or eight to 10 feet deep. So that's the underground report. Uh, the last one is the trench volume report. So if I toggle into the trench volumes, this is now telling me in the same, I can apply the same details or I can go into a summary 
and it's telling me for each line how much I'm excavating, backfilling, what type of uh, bedding, cover, select cover, you know, all those details that I put into those pipelines, how that all plays out to give me a total export number for that pipe, for that run of pipe or by summary as we're seeing here. So you've got a lot of information housed between these five reports and you can export all of it right into Excel. So I can do this very easily just by clicking on this export to Excel button right here. So if I wanted my trench volume report, I'm just gonna click this button. It's gonna ask me where to save it. I give it a name, I hit save. My Excel is popping open in my uh, other screen over here. So let me drag this over so you can actually see it. And it's gonna look very similar. So I'll just kind of put it on the other half so you can see basically exactly what you're seeing in AgTech is exactly what's showing up in this trench volume report. So it's detailing out, you know, all those labels, um, the, the, the surface that I applied it to, what phase I was in, um, those, and all those quantities, excavate, backfill, bedding, cover, everything we just looked at. So I can do this for any of these reports. So I can do the same for say a material report. Maybe I wanna look at the total material summary report. I'll export this to Excel. I already saved one, so I'll just save over it. And you're gonna see the same thing. It exports out and it even gives you the colors. So if you were to print out a nice uh, image for somebody to accompany this report, they can even see exactly where you've detailed out each section. So I hope that makes a lot of sense um, on how you can read these reports and then how you're going to get them into Excel to manipulate them however you need to to get into your bidding software. Next week, I will also show you how you can export this into a Google Earth KMZ file and interrogate the data that way. So let me know if you have any questions between now and then. Thanks so much.